My name is H.A. Goodman. I'm an author, columnist, and journalist. And to read all my writing, go to counterpropa.com, support the site through the Amazon links, and the donate button in the counterpropa. Below is a petition. Share it. It's in the description section, and it is to get the DNC to give their computer service to the FBI. The FBI requested the computer service for examination. The DNC has yet to give them those computer servers. Nobody in the U.S. government has, has seen a DNC computer servers that have been allegedly hacked by Russia. Hillary Clinton allies ripped James Comey for belated confirmation on Russia probe. See, you can never, it, it's like that old phrase, no good deed goes unpunished, at least for, for Clinton and Democrats. Once, these are the same people who cheated Bernie. So when people say, well, why are you, no, 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 they cheated Bernie Sanders, now they have to live with this. Once again, James Comey is persona non grata in Hillary land. After the FBI director on Monday acknowledged a month, months-long probe into possible links between Russian operatives and Trump campaign associates, veterans of Hillary Clinton's presidential bid sharply questioned why Comey waited until now, after their boss lost, to confirm, to confirm it. Comey had famously aired details of the investigation into Clinton's private email use as Secretary of State, including an announcement 11 days before the election that the FBI was revisiting the case, only to close it again. <laughs> so... Putin didn't write that letter, Comey did. And that was because of 650,000 self-portraits of Wiener's Wiener. Enjoy the visual. By contrast, he did not confirm the nature of the investigation into Russian meddling in the campaign until his testimony Monday. We already knew he was investigating. We know because a New York Times article investigating uh, Donald Trump, the FBI finds no clear link, uh, no, clear no direct link to Russia. That's a New York Times article, October, late October 2016. Quote, Russia probe that Comey confirmed was, as best we can tell, in effect before November 8th. Fair to ask why he didn't think voters deserve to know, tweeted Brian Fallon. We already knew, dumb Brian Fallon. We already knew. The, we already knew. We knew about wiretaps of, of Trump's. Uh, AIDS, that was in the New York Times, Washington Post all, also talked about it. There were no links. There was no evidence then. There's no evidence now. You're not going to impeach Trump. Sorry. Shouldn't have cheated Bernie. Anything Trump does, shouldn't have cheated Bernie. Trump, anything he does, anything, guess you shouldn't have cheated Bernie. Sorry. Uh, much of Clinton's staff, staffers' irritation stem from what they view as a double standard. Okay. We can go on forever. The only double standard is anybody who put special access program intelligence on an unencrypted private server like Clinton did would have received the Espionage Act. Trump, I voted for Jill Stein. I voted for uh, Bernie Sanders. Bernie was cheated, and the Democratic Party did everything to silence Jill Stein and Bernie. So you're not going to impeach Trump based on no evidence. We need evidence. Comey refused to answer something like 30-plus questions. By the way, share my latest article in Counterpropa, that is below as well. Democrats are not going to impeach Trump. They're not going to be able to do anything with this Russian hacking narrative. Um, the article below, Counterpropa, Trump isn't getting impeached, focus on banning fracking, not Russian hackers. The Democratic Party doesn't stand for bold ideas banning fracking, breaking up too big to fail banks, reinstating Glass-Steagall, ending perpetual counterinsurgency wars. These are the antithesis of Trump. People don't want Trump light. If you're going to get GOP light, just vote for the Republican. That's what I've been trying to tell people for two years. Nobody listened. Now you have Trump. Don't complain. Give me your thoughts below. Hillary Clinton's in the news again. And don't come, at, don't come at me for saying, well, if you just didn't talk about her, no, nobody else would. No, no. It's an article right here. Give me your thoughts below. Thank you so much for listening.